KYC. I'm Michelle Sklar, and we're here with Kirk Sorensen, who talked to us today about uh, Thorium. Thank you so much for, uh, for coming and hanging out with us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. So for um, viewers that are turning, tuning in for the first time, what is Thorium? Uh, thorium is a naturally occurring material that has incredible potential as an energy source. It can pretty much power our planet for the future. Now, when you were delivering your presentation, you were alluding to perhaps this would be available on the moon. It's available on the moon, <laughs> Mars, asteroids. There's plenty enough here, too. So, so if it is available outside of you know our the planet as we know it today, um, is there a process by which to actually extract and deliver? Uh, yeah. In fact, we, as I showed you in my presentation, there's a big, big stockpile of it in Nevada right now. It's already been separated and, and ready for us to use. So it's a fantastic energy resource. And do we have the infrastructure in place to be able to utilize that uh, energy source right now? Or is that kind of got to be part of a, a pipeline process to figure out how we would actually like deploy and use this type of energy? Or is there things that exist already that this could just be sort of piped in through? I don't know if that's the right language. No, good question. Uh, if we want to use thorium efficiently, we need to develop a new nuclear technology based on liquid fluoride reactors, and that will enable us to extract all the energy from thorium rather than just a very small fraction. So, yes, we do need to do some work to get ready for it. Okay. So, um, the subject of TEDxYYC was uh, forward motion and community, and we look to bring people together that could give us some inspiration to want to get out there and be proactive. And so, when we look at the opportunities of new energy sources like thorium, how do we tie that into community? Well, our communities, you know, we want to have more sustainable communities, we want to have cleaner communities, and I know up here right now the, the issue around fossil fuels is, is significant. So I think this could be an opportunity for our communities to get on the energy source that can sustain them for centuries rather than on energy sources that are going to run out in a short period of time. So you, you flew up here from Alabama? Yes. This is your first time to Calgary? First time to Canada. First time to Canada, in fact. Yeah. Have you ever participated in a TEDx event before? No, it's the first one. I really like it. Did you really like it? What yeah. are some of maybe the highlights for you? What are you going to go home with? Oh, well, I always knew TED was super cool. I'd watched it online and I thought, so when I had the opportunity to go to TEDx, I was like, yes, you know, I hope I can do it again many times. Awesome. Uh, maybe we can have a TEDx in Alabama. Hopefully. Did you enjoy some of the pre other presentations that you heard? Oh, yeah. I loved them. They were fantastic. Great speakers. I learned a lot about not only what they were talking about, but uh, you know, really dynamic presentations. And that, that I think is kind of a hallmark of the whole TED thing. Yeah, excellent. That's Kirk, thanks for joining us. I appreciate that. But here with Kirk Sorensen, we're at TEDxYYC. I'm Michelle Sklar.